Hello everyone and welcome. So in this quick video, I'll be showing you step by step how I managed to design this DV footer. So the beauty of this footer is you can actually use it on as many websites as you want. So you can save it as a global item and then say and, and then use it on as many pages as you want. So I'll be showing you step by step how you can actually apply this to your website. And also don't forget to subscribe at uh, dvuniversity.com. We'll be producing more and more of these videos. So by subscribing on the mailing list, you'll be notified every time we produce uh, more videos like this and also there's a discount for being a subscriber when we release our brand new course coming up soon okay so without wasting a lot of time let's dive in and let me show you how we managed to create this footer okay so this is the final footer that we'll be designing in this tutorial so starting over here from the left we have this icon and the phone number and also a button where we can just easily access our contact page and then here we've uh, created these two categories now you can name these whatever you want and also below that we have links to the pages so all this is going to be custom made and then over here to the right we have our social media icons okay so first of all what we need to do in fact before we start I'll be sharing this footer on my website so you can go ahead and uh, install this on your own website and customize it. So if you watch it throughout the end and you really like how I put it together, you'll see how you can actually go in and customize this. So the first thing we're going to do here is to get rid of this small footer right here at the bottom. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm logged into my WordPress dashboard. So all I need to do now is to come all, all the way here to Divi and then click on theme options. Now, once the page loads up, you need to scroll all the way down until you get this custom CSS. And this is the code that we need to paste. I'll just paste it and then I'll just expand this so you can see the code. Okay, so here what this code is doing is it's just displaying none to that main footer that we have at the bottom of the page. Now, once you've entered this code, all you have to do now is to click on Save Changes. Okay, now that is saved. So now if we go and check, uh, take a look at our website, you'll notice that the footer would have gone. So let's take a look at that. And then you can see that it's gone. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and let's start building this. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to create a new page. So I want to come over here to pages and then click add new. Now you don't have to create a new page, but I prefer doing this, doing, the, doing it this way. So I'm just going to call this page main footer. I'm going to click on use the Divi Builder and use Visual Builder. Now, the reason why I'm using the Visual Builder is I like seeing what I'm designing as I'm designing it. So that's why I prefer using the Visual Builder. OK, so let's collapse this now. So here we can see that we have our section ready for us to customize. So the first thing we're going to do is to add a background color to this section. So I'm going to click this gear icon here and then click on the background color. And then I'm just going to drag this to a really dark gray. I think that will do. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and click on save. OK, so let's come over here and um, let's add some columns. So I'm going to click this plus button here, add four columns. Now I'm going to come here to the row settings and uh, just make this full width because I like this to take quite a bit of space on the footer. So I'm now I'm going to go ahead and save. Now it's time to add all our modules. So what I'm going to start doing here is to start off with the uh, categories. So I'm going to I'm going to click on add new module. So the module that we need here is the text module. So I'm going to add that. So now let's start by um, typing our category name. So this is going to be about us. So here, it doesn't matter if you add it in small uh, letters because we're going to change it in the design mode. OK, so I'm going to go ahead now, go into design. So the text font, it's size 14. Ideally, it needs to be about, say, 18. We're going to make this bold and all caps. OK, and then here on the text color, we're going to change that and make it slightly lighter so that we can read it on this gray background. OK, and then finally, what we need to do here is to just um, add some letter spacing like that. OK, so I'm happy with that. And now I'm going to go ahead and save it. Next, I'm going to start adding all my links. So I'm going to click on Add New Module. And again, it's going to be a text module. So I'm going to go into the text mode here and start adding my pages. So I'm going to start off with About 
So I'm going to start typing. So the next one is meet the team. And then we're going to have community. And then finally, we're going to have blog. Okay, so that's looking good. Now, oh, in fact, before I go ahead, if you can see that all this is in a straight line, so we need to break this line so, so that we have all these pages below each other. Okay, so the code to do that is BR, like that. And then what I'm going to do here is just to save me time, I'm just going to copy this by pressing Command C. If you're on a PC, it's Control C. And then just Command V or Control V to paste, like that. Okay, so now that we have them all under each other, the next thing we need to do is to add the links. So now we're going to switch on to the visual and then we're just going to highlight this and add this and click this chain button because that, that's what allows us to make a link. So what I'm going to do here is just to save time, I'm just going to add blank links like that. But ideally, if you're adding links to this, these links need to go to the actual pages. Okay, so now that we have all our links in place, we need to do some adjustments here because we can see the line height is a bit messed up. It's uh, There's too much space between them. So now let's go into the design mode and then let's go to line height and, this, and then we can just reduce that to about one point. In fact, 1.1 will do very well. Okay, 1.1 is great. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm now I'm gonna go ahead and save the changes. Now we can see here the about us there's a bit of space here between the title or the category title and also the links on the bottom here. So let's go into the settings of the title, go into the design and to reduce that space, you need to go to custom margin and add, say, let's start off with 18. Yeah, that looks perfect. Okay. I'm happy with that. Okay. So for us to work faster in the uh, visual builder, we can take advantage of the shortcut. So what we're going to do here is because we're going to have another section here, we can actually duplicate this so that it saves us time typing things out. Okay, so to do that, what I normally do is I just put my mouse over this plus button here, press command C. If you're on a PC, it's control C, and then you come over to this plus and then press command V or control V on a PC. Let's do that. Let's do the same here. I'm going to press command C come over here, command V. So you can see here, we can quickly move very fast by just using the shortcuts. So here I'm going to rename this and call this Divi University. And by the way, your links can be, you know, whatever it is that you want them to be. This just use this as a guide. Okay. So let's start off by renaming all these. So the first one here is going to be called become a member. The second one is going to be called resources. Okay. This one is going to be courses. And then finally, we're going to have free tutorials. Okay. So then what we need to do here is to go, to go into the settings and then just make sure that these are all linked up. Okay. So I'm going to start with the first one here Add the blank link like that, and then just repeat these until they're all done. Fantastic. So that's looking good. I'm going to go ahead and save. Now let's move on to the social media. So let's also duplicate this. So we have the consistency going across. So I'm going to do a control C to copy or command C on a, on a Mac and then command V. Right. So let's rename this. We're going to call this follow us like that. Okay. So that's looking good. Now we need to add a, another module, but this time it's going to be the social media module. In fact, I pressed the wrong one. Okay. So it needs to be the social media like that. It's time to add the social media channels. So I'm going to start off with Facebook and this is where you get to add your Facebook URL. But again, for now, just to save time, I'm just going to leave this with, I'm just going to put a blank link. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll go back here, add another one. So this time it's going to be Twitter. Now, if these are not in the order that you want, you can always just drag them around 
and just rearrange them. So say, let's say you want LinkedIn to be above Instagram. You can just do that. And then you can see here that it's, it's in the right order now. Okay, let's go ahead and save this. So we're almost done. You can see now we have our social media here and we also have our two main columns of the pages that of the most important pages that we need. Okay, so now let's add our phone number and our button. Okay, so let me add a new module and this time it's gonna be the blurb and I'm just gonna add my phone number in there. So I've just added the plus four four because I'm in the UK. So seven triple nine one five two okay so use icon yes now the icon that we need to use here is the phone icon so let's scroll down here until we find it there we go there it is we can see that it's way out of place and ideally this would be much better if this was on the left so let's look at the placement here and make sure that it's on the left and then for the, the phone number here let's increase the size so let's go back up here into design and this, let's increase the size. Let's say about 20 that, okay, bold. Okay, we don't need to put all caps, but I'll just put that there just in case. And then the uh, text color, it's, I know it's BA, BA, BA. Okay, so that matches what we have here on the headings. Okay, so that's looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and save. And then finally, we need to add a button. So I'm gonna click and add the button module. On the button URL, again, we're going to put a blank link. And then on the button text, we can just say, okay, so that's good. Now let's go into the design. Now, if we need to really customize this button, what we need to do is to make sure that we activate the use custom styles for button. Okay, so now that we have that activated, let's add a background color for this button. I'm going to go for this bright orange. The text color needs to be white, so it's easy to read. And then uh, the button border width, that can be zero. We don't really need that. Okay, so we can see now the button is really taking shape. And then quickly here, we just need to make sure that uh, there's no icon, because I really don't like the uh, animation of the icon. I would prefer a color when you mouse over it. Okay, so let's make sure that this is bold and also all caps. Now the size is 20. Let's just make it 18. Okay, because the button doesn't really have to be that big. Okay, so now that we have that, we need to uh, adjust the uh, border radius because we need this button to be like a pearl, like that. Okay, so we could, so that's how you'd customize the button. So that's looking really good. Now, finally, what we need to do is to make sure that when you hover over it, it changes color. That just shows that the button is, um, is working. So let's come over here. So let's choose our first color. And then we can just drag it here to make it darker. Okay, that's much better. So that's looking really good. Now let's go ahead and save. So pretty much this is our footer. Now, as I mentioned before, you can go ahead and customize this and make it look the way you want. In fact, I can come over here in, in here and just uh, reduce the space between the phone and also this button. So I'm just gonna come here, go into the settings and uh, go into the design and then just make sure that my margin button is set to say 18. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, I'm gonna save. Okay, as I was mentioning, you can actually go ahead and change this and make it look the way you want it. So you can actually have an actual form right in this area here. But um, this is the style that I really like. Let's go ahead now and save this. So what we need to do now is to save this to the library. So I'm going to click this button here and you can see it says save section to the library. I'm just going to click that. Let's give this a name. So let's call this my main footer. Okay, so now for this to work, it needs to be set as a global item. So when we make changes to this, it just applies uh, throughout the whole uh, website if we're going to use this footer throughout the whole website. So let me go ahead and save this as a global item, save to library. Okay, so now that it's saved to the library, we could go ahead and exit this. So you can either save this if you want, or you can just close it because now we have it in the library. Okay, now it's time to add our footer throughout our whole website. So now let's go back into our dashboard. Now let's click on all pages so we can see all our pages. So now I'm just going to choose the home page for now. So I'm going to click on edit. 
Okay, so I'm going to scroll all the way down here. Let's delete this section. Right, so to add our footer on this page, in fact, before I add the footer, let me show you what it looks like without the footer. So I'm just going to click on update. Now let's do a quick preview of this page. So if I scroll down here, you can see there's no footer. So now let's add the footer to this page. So I'm going to scroll all the way down here and then click on add from library. Now when we click on add from library, this is where you see all our sections that we've saved. So I'm going to click on my main footer, which is the one that we've just uh, designed. Save the page by clicking update. So now if we hit refresh, And if you scroll down, now we can see we have this footer. So there you have it. This is how you create a DV footer and also make it a global item, which means you can actually use it on as many websites as you want. You can go ahead and download it in the link provided below so you can use it on your designs as well. Until next time, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you later.